Today we pick up our Bible study in Revelation chapter 9. We'll look at verses 13 through 15. In Revelation chapter 9, verses 13 through 15, the sixth angel sounds the trumpet after the seventh seal has been removed from the scroll taken from the right hand of him who sits on the throne of heaven by the Lamb. With the sounding of the sixth trumpet, a third of mankind was killed by the four angels who had been placed at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, as we saw in Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 through 3. These angels were placed at the four corners of the earth after the opening of the sixth seal and before the opening of the seventh seal from the scroll taken from the hand of him who sits on the throne of heaven by the Lamb. They were instructed to do no harm until the servants of God were sealed on their foreheads, as we learn in Revelation chapter 7, verse 3. This is the sounding of the sixth trumpet after the opening of the seventh seal from the scroll taken from the right hand of him who sits on the throne of heaven by the Lamb. We may deduct that because these four angels were holding the four winds of the earth, that they may kill the one-third of mankind by weather-related incidents or events. But this is only speculation as these details are not given in Revelation chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. I do believe that the one-third of mankind that will be killed by these four angels are non-believers in our Savior Jesus Christ as they were detained until the servants of God were sealed on their foreheads. This is also based on Revelation chapter 9 verse 4 as the locusts were not allowed to harm those who were sealed as servants of God after the sounding of the fifth trumpet in the opening of the seventh seal of the scroll taken from the right hand of him who sits on the throne of heaven by the Lamb. Dear Lord, when your wrath is released on this earth, the plagues and torture will be great. But we believe that you will protect those who, you, who serve you through putting our faith in our Savior, Jesus, whom you sent to save us from sin, death, and hell. Please let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.